Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are on to week three and I think we should just jump right into it because if you remember uh, week three this is actually an extension of what we looked at last week uh, in week two. So remember let me just scroll backwards. Let's look back at week two just to refresh our memory right. Week two we started our discussion into ordinary differential equations and we looked at using basically the Laplace technique to go ahead and solve ordinary differential equations. So that was one way to do it. Now coming into week three I'd like to continue our discussion into ODEs and look at different ways we can solve ordinary differential equations. So these first two videos here are the, you know, quote unquote, uh, traditional way of solving um, homogeneous or non-homogeneous linear ordinary differential equations. And you'll see what these mean. And these were techniques work fine but actually I prefer the Laplace technique to over these the these traditional approaches and actually I actually uh, um, totally enjoy and recommend the state space representation and solution of solving differential equations so again what we're doing during week three is looking at different ways and different techniques to solve ODE so again we're going to start off with this kind of quote unquote traditional approach then what I like to look at is um, the state space representation and way to solve them. Now you'll notice there's a couple of other supporting optional videos sprinkled in. Let's talk about these a little bit. So this first section right here is uh, I am assuming everyone has prior experience with MATLAB and Simulink. Simulink is actually the key technique uh, tool here that we're going to be using. Simulink is a numerical ordinary differential equation solver and it's a package that's built into MATLAB and again um, it's kind of considered a prerequisite and I'm assuming that people have seen this in their undergraduate. If you haven't seen Simulink or this is completely new to you, feel free to check out these videos. I show you how to get started with Simulink, how to model ODEs in Simulink, and how to basically interact from with the Simulink model from the MATLAB um, script. Now, we'll also talk a little bit about some of these. I'll cover it very briefly in a crash course during some of the office hours, um, just to make sure we're all up to speed. But if you've never seen Simulink before or you are very, very rusty, please check these out to make sure we're all on the same page in terms of how to get Simulink to solve ordinary differential equations. Okay, so with that out of the way, um, I like to look at uh, the the quote unquote standard second order form of ordinary differential equations. So we're going to see that ODEs are used to model a wide variety of different mathematical and engineering systems. And um, there's a surprising amount of behavior that you can capture with a second order differential equation. So a lot of times people have come up with a, uh, a standard way to refer and parameterize a, a second order differential equation. So I'd like to look at this right here. So there are key parameters like the natural frequency and the damping rate which are going to tell you almost everything you need to know about a second order ODE. So please feel free to watch this video and actually skip some of these timestamps. So this is only um, about a 55 minute discussion here if you just watch the uh, appropriate timestamps. Okay, the last kind of um, required video for this week then is okay. We've looked at the Laplace technique in week two. We've looked at the classical technique here in the beginning of week three. Now I would look would like to look at the modern way that we tend to uh, model and describe ordinary differential equations, and that is using the state space representation. So you're going to see this show up all over the place. There are linear state space representations that we are going to be talking about here. But there are actually also nonlinear state space representations. So for those of you who go on to take AE512 with me when we model a, a full six degree of freedom nonlinear aircraft model, we will use a nonlinear representation of a state space, or excuse me, a nonlinear state space representation of an aircraft to describe that behavior and dynamics. So this is a key discussion here and it's going to serve you well for the rest of this program. Now, all we're talking about in this video here is how to model a set of coupled ordinary differential equations as a state space system. I'm not going to cover solving them explicitly in scope of this class. If you want to know how to solve these, these state space representations, this is more of something like an AA547 um, class where we took a look at linear system theory. Um, I just for giggles have tacked on right here 
here are some optional videos for those of you who might have the bandwidth and interest feel free to check these out because we talk about here how to explicitly and analytically solve linear state space ordinary differential equation systems so this is pretty powerful but again um, you may get this at in a future class I just wanted to provide a perspective here for those of you who might be interested in in delving a little bit deeper but again, completely optional, feel free to skip them. There are no mandatory homework assignments covering any of this highlighted section, so you'll only have to watch these ones that are not marked as optional. Okay, so that's the rough game plan in terms of the lectures. So we will finish up our discussion on ordinary differential equations here. But again, I do want to maybe, um, what's the right way to put this? Uh, <laughs> uh, raise your awareness and put on your radar that we will be coming back to ordinary differential equations later. In fact, if we scroll a little bit forward and look forward in the class, when we start coming here to solving partial differential equations, one popular technique we're going to see down the road is we're going to try to decompose a partial differential equation into a system of ordinary differential equations. So again, what I'm trying to say is what we're talking about here in week three is going to come back here in week seven. So please pay attention. If you have any questions, let's talk about it during office hours. Otherwise, maybe what we should do is let's hop over to the homework and see um, how are we going to cover some of this in homework. Okay, so here we are with homework number three. And actually, this week, it's pretty simple. So problem one is... Uh, and this is kind of just, uh, these are the same videos that I was referring to in the uh, lecture notes here about getting started with Simulink and using Simulink for ODEs. Uh, problem one is just make sure that you are comfortable with some of this content, like AKA you know how to run Simulink, you know how to get Simulink to model and solve an ordinary differential equation, and you know how to send data back and forth between Simulink and the MATLAB workspace so you can generate plots and things like that. And this is gonna ensure that we all have a good set of tools to get Simulink to do what we wanted to and be able to generate, analyze, and save data from Simulink. So again, problem one is um, there's not really a deliverable. Feel free to just put on your on your homework write-ups that's that yes, I am comfortable with Simulink or I've watched these videos. Again, problem one is just making sure we all have the same foundation and we can use this in future um, problems. And a future problem might be actually problem number two. This, this is actually the only mandatory technical problem for week three. So what I like to look at here is you have this third order linear ordinary non-homogeneous differential equation. So how can you model this as a state space system? So you're gonna have to pick a applicable state and control vector. And once you do that, you should be able to reformat this third order uh, differential equation to a set of coupled um, differential equations of the form x dot is equal to ax plus bu. And this is going to be a 3 by 3 a matrix, and then I'll let you figure out what the dimensions of the b matrix have to be. But long story short, you are taking this third order single differential equation, and we are going to break it down and recompose it as a set of three coupled first order differential equations. So yeah, yeah, that's a mouthful. But again, I think once you work through this, it'll be very clear what we're doing. Um, in a similar fashion, I like to assume that the output of the system, let's say you have some sensor on board that measures this weird quantity. It's like a combination of Z, Z double dot, and somehow one of these inputs. This is, I, again, I'm, I'm making this up right now. But given this information, this one output, you should be able to write an output equation of the form Y equals CX plus DU. So part B and part C make up the full definition of a uh, state space system. Okay, now then in part D, what I like to do is basically use Simulink to go ahead and solve. First, we are going to try to solve this guy, solve the original third order ODE using traditional techniques, aka integrators, sum blocks, etc. etc. And again, I'm happy to talk about this a little bit more in office hours if you're not familiar with this, or watch this video right here. Okay. So that's this first part is you're gonna build a Simulink model that implements this, and then you're gonna go ahead and, and run a simulation and see what it does, right? The second part of this is I would like you to implement this guy, the X dot is equal to AX plus BU, Y equals CX plus DU. In other words, you are implementing a state space representation, and then you're gonna hit simulate again, and ideally the two should agree, right? So that's what I'm asking for in part E is, okay, use this type of an input, 
use this type of initial conditions. If you have the same input and the same initial conditions for those two systems that we claim are equivalent, hopefully they should agree. But if not, I'll let you explain what any, whatever potential discrepancies might um, arise. Okay, so that's problem two. And like I said, that's really the only other mandatory problem for this week. Problem three is um, it's completely optional. I'll let everyone read through this if you'd like. But again, what problem three is doing is it's covering, where do I have that um, lecture notes? That is covering any of this optional bits down here. If you really want to talk about and understand how to solve a linear state space representation of a set of ordinary differential equations using things like what's called the uh, matrix exponential and the Laplace technique or the matrix exponential and the modal method. That's what this problem is. And again, feel free to take a whack at these if you'd like. I'm happy to talk about this. I'm happy to give solutions because it's optional. Um, but again, this is for those of you who are, you know, maybe a controls major or someone that's really interested in dynamic systems. This might be of, of interest to you. But again, you don't have to do this. What you probably will have to do, though, is circle back to homework two. So now with homework two, remember both homework two and homework three are due at the same time. And homework two, now that we've had our discussion on traditional solutions to homogeneous ODEs and traditional solutions to non-homogeneous ODEs, you should be able to apply those lectures to solve problems two and problem three out of homework two. Um, and similarly, there's parts of problem four from last week, right, where you might need to now use some of the techniques that we are deriving right now, like Simulink, to go ahead and uh, simulate these systems. So again, homework three is very light, meaning there's one problem. Because I'm expecting people to have to circle back to homework two and touch up a few items. So again, I apologize for it being a little bit disjoint and non-standard, but that's just the nature of the beast because week two and week three are so important and cover so much material that we just couldn't cram it all into one week. So as such, we've got to spread out over two weeks and we're gonna have to do a little bit of bookkeeping. Okay, but with that being said, I think that's what we're looking for. Um, so homework three should be up, and what that should hopefully do is get us all set with ordinary differential equations. So um, with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. Um, give me a, a holler over email if anyone has questions. Otherwise, I look forward to talking to everyone in office hours. All right, thanks, everyone. Bye.